Week three in the PLL finishes from Columbus, Ohio. And it's the game they call the rivalry. Redwoods and Whipsnakes. We mentioned it a couple of minutes ago. They were nine and one all of last regular season. So already more losses down. They said we're gonna get shot out of a cannon and they have delivered. What a start. Now you bring some, some fresh blood in Dordovic. Dordovic goes low. Great save, Jack Kelly to deny. Turnover, opportunity for the Woods in transition. They have numbers, and they cash in. Ryder Garnsey ties it at one. His ninth goal of the season. John Sexton knows who's gonna cash in. Isaiah Davis Allen with a great check. Sexton gets the ground ball, looks upfield, and watch the finish by Ryder Garnsey. Here's the pass. Garnsey stays high, his head's high, his shoulders are high. Where does he shoot the ball? From a deception perspective, low for this whip's attack. Spin cycle, inside. Great feed from Manny, and a terrific finish. Connor Kirst makes it 2-1 whips. This is offense at its best. I mean, Manny on the high crease, everyone's thinking shot. Coaches always talk about making the one more pass. The defense converges on Manny. His head's up, and Connor Kirst is so smart to continue with his cut almost at the same time that Manny catches the ball. Everything was perfection in terms of the unison. His shoulders, just able to eat checks. Cross field pass, ducking in, diving and scoring, Garrett Ledman. We have liftoff. Garrett Ledman at Duke was a two-way mid. He played some defensive midfield. His senior year, he was an offensive star. Started the year as an alley dodger, and as the year progressed, was able to dodge from the corners, get underneath defenders, and launch through the air and stick G's like this while the rookie's doing it in the PLL. Turn him, turn him. have had the majority of the possession. That is vintage Matt Rambo. Rambo fires whips in front by three and notches his fifth goal of the season. This is pure strength. Rambo, I told you, just uses force. And Garrett Apple is a big boy, but watch him put his shoulder down and just own that one-on-one -on -one matchup and then use his right hand. Matt, it's Kark up in the booth. What's up, Kark? When's the last time you thanked your dad, Rich, for your shoulders? Ledman fires left, he saved by Jack Kelly. Hey, we gotta be ready here. Whipsnake's defense really dialed in in this first quarter. Trying to get something in transition. Manny calling for it, gets it. Kicks it back for a two! Colin Squires right on the money, perfectly placed. And it's 6-1 Whipsnake's. Off to Garnsey, great feed, and an easy finish for Westburg. Camping out on the crease, great pass from Ryder Garnsey. A lot of people tag Garnsey as just the goal scorer. He's the ultimate offensive weapon because of his creativity and his vision. He understands the flow of the game. Now as a coach at Notre Dame this past year, he sees the game now at a whole nother level, right? You're breaking down all that tape. You know where the seams of a defense are. You know where the eyes are. Once the eyes of Michael Earhart was staring at Ryder Garnsey, then it turned into feed mode, passing mode. What adjustments do they need to make defensively as we try and get a pole call to start the second quarter? Redwood's getting aggressive defensively, sending two. That's picked off. Owen oh, Grant just talking about him in his PLL debut, and he's dangerous from two. 
Great save, Burnlore. He's had two really nice saves to start through second quarter. No doubt. I'm hurting in the booth thinking about it. Here's Zed Williams. Goes low and scores. That's what Zed can do. Last week, his first game back. Two of 10 shooting. He needs to be a volume shooter. I'm okay with the 10. They'll start falling because he has an elite trigger. He's got the short stick, Perkovic on him. The initial fake gets Perkovic kind of off his line a little right there. And then he steps forward upfield one more step to increase his angle and shoots around Perkovic in the hurt. Burlar closeout. Puglisi turns on the Jets. Great passing. Zed Williams again. Back to back goals for Zed Williams. And that is beautiful lacrosse in transition. Let him shoot. The closeout from Roman Puglisi, the short stick D midi, second year pro out of Maryland. He starts the transition. The whips are rolling, hitting on all cylinders in the six on six. End to end. The speed of Puglisi and the passing of Will Manny. Will Manny's had two superb passes in this game. One to Colin Kirst, one to Zed Williams. Manny, known as a lefty sniper, is dealing today. The goal cam by Progressive. A team that believes. And the whips are just rolling. Will Manny unleashes one. And it is all whips right now. Three straight goals for them. Stick on stick. Here comes the flag. Rambo! Kelly got a piece of it, but you need more than that to keep out a Rambo flamethrower. Right now on the power play, watch Dordovic and watch Chanichuk. Deflects in! Dordovic threaded the needle. Rambo claiming the goal. Well, Rambo doesn't want to claim the goal because if it hits him, oh, it's true. not he a said two. It's a two. If he's saying it's a two, it wasn't deflected. Let's Dordovic see. clearly shoots it or passes it behind the two. It goes off to Garrett Eppel. That's off Eppel. So it'll only count for one. Here in the arena, no, they're the counting stadium, it as two. They, That's they a, are? Yes. They're counting it as two. Efficient 10 of 19. A 10 goal lead in this first half. Here's an opportunity for Woods. Davis Allen poked it away. Rambo eyeing his options, finds Will Manny who scores! Rambo the Manny. Those two finding a groove here in week three. Garnsey tangled up. Goes one handed and scores! You'll see that later tonight on SportsCenter Top 10. I'm running out of words to describe this guy. He's like a video game creature that's never done. One-handed, the lefty with his offhand shoots this. The improbable, the unthinkable Ryder Garnsey. This is absurd. To do that with tremendous pressure, Bryce Young is all over him, digging into his back. I'm saying to myself, how is he holding on to the ball, let alone how is he getting that shot off? If you know anything about the PLL, you can climb back from a lead. And they're going to change their offensive set. So you see three and a rainbow up top, and one in the middle versus two, like in the first half. I think it's working out for them. Right on cue, Miles Jones buries it. But now in the third quarter, you chip away. Tough to chip away when Bryce Young throws it right to the back of the net beautifully. 
full head of steam. Nobody was stopping that. Bryce Young showing you some speed end to end. Yeah, Art Cole looks like he's gonna pressure and go up to slide on Bryce Young, but he hesitates. And once there's that hesitation, Young knows the time is now to get that shot off. So the instincts. Thinks he's got huge upside star potential. Nice save by Kelly. He stopped it on the doorstep. Plenty of room. Will Manny didn't put enough on it. Another save for Jack Kelly. Already more saves this quarter than he had in the entire first half. He got a good shot off, perfectly placed, and denied by Burnlor. Garnsey, another ridiculous pass. This time to Rob Pinnell. It's the second. Super legit pass by Ryder Garnsey to look away. Pinnell, normally the one dealing. This time he gets the favor returned to him by the sensational Ryder Garnsey. Nice save, Kelly. Read it well to deny Dordovic on the run. Chan and Chuck from deep could not bury it. Long outlet finds Montgomery. Chuck! Oof. Inches away, man, he tried to golf it in. Kelly across his line to keep it out. 14 goals, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm like, they've only got five. <laughs> Unbelievable! Ryder Garnsey is not human! A hat trick for Ryder Garnsey, and they've all been Spectacular. Getting my stats mixed up on the face-off because you want to fuel an offense when you have TD Earl and winning all these draws, all these missed opportunities. This is not one. And as fancy as this shot is, it's so functional because look where the pressure is. Bryce Young is on his top hand, right? His top side pressure. So you're either gonna roll and shoot it right-handed or you're gonna keep it in your strong left hand and make it rain again. And Ryder Garnsey once again does the unthinkable. Yep. He now leads the league in goals with 11, passing Marcus Holman. The defense was draped all over him and pounding his left hand. Garnsey again! A rocket to the back of the net! Ryder Garzi is on fire. And he is willing the Redwoods back in this game. 3-0 run. One-handed shovel shot. And then it gives you the pure fire. The one-on-one -on -one matchup. Bryce Young is holding him. And the strength of Ryder Garzi as he stares Bryce Young down. Look at the torque in the rotation on that shot. This is a will to find pay dirt type dodge. Like, I will not be denied. Garnsey, four of six shooting, the rest of the woods, three of 23. Alert, right, right. Here's Garnsey. Oh, no. He does it again! Ryder Garnsey has taken over. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, no, because I'm, I'm running out of stuff to say about this guy. <laughs> Five goals tonight, and they have all been absolutely spectacular. What, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> this is unbelievable. He's the best player in the league right now. Right now. He has the most flash. But what I love about his game is he could care less about his body or where a slide is coming from. I've seen him come across the middle and be tattooed in the past. He could care less. Henningberg trying to find another. Trying to get those hands free. And he does! Jules Henningberg beats Burnmore. And don't look now, but the Redwoods are back in this game. Jules has some game. He has some shake, and he's very two-handed. It's a 7-1 run by the Woods. 
We thought it was game, set, match, but Ryder Garzi and now Jules Henningberg are saying not so fast, hang around. Think it if he's watching Garzi right now. Well, he's probably laughing and, and happy as can be. <laughs> They've outscored Whip Snakes 4-0 in this fourth quarter. Could it be a case of too little, too late? Dordovic, Kelly, nice stop, down 11. And I think for the long-term success of the team. Whoa, Rob Pinnell curling around the cage. One-handed goal. The Woods may be down by four, but they will own the highlight reel tonight. These are crazy goals. I was getting into Kelly, and sticking with Kelly will give you long-term success in the cage by not pulling him from a mental perspective. He's given his team opportunities to possess the ball and get to the rack. And Rob Pinnell, that's like a patented Pinnell shot. I remember going down to Charlottesville and spending time with Connor Schellenberger, their star attack, when he was able to, to get so many pieces of his game from Rob Pinnell's the entire season. Right. Burn lore, risky pass, and pass. it pays off. Kelly out of the cage. Rambo beats him. Excellent pass from Burnlord to Rambo, and that's the cushion Whips needed. First goal in 23 minutes. He will be deadly from two. Garnsey again! That is six goals tonight for Ryder Garnsey. They can't cover him. The Whips just want this game to end. They do. They want it to end because they had two and a half quarters of magical lacrosse. He uses the pick here. And then Ty Warner comes in and plays Garnsey off the pick, but he just rips through the short stick pressure of Tyler Warner. And he shoots off his, shoots off his back foot, loses his balance. It just tells you how powerful the wrists are in this second half. Going right back to Rambo, same spot. He just beat Kelly on this and he does it again. That's not a replay. Matt Rambo with two clutch goals. Late in his fourth quarter, that one might seal it. It's the first win of the season for a Whip Snakes team that's used to being atop the standings. That's Will Manny from two on an empty net. Talk about goal differential. That's a big swing. There's your two right there. When you want to go out and you pressure, and you take the goalie out of the net, you run the risk. Well, Ryder Garnsey, he'll steal the highlight reel, but Redwoods lose by seven. Whips a dominant 18-11 win. We are off of the PLL. Until July 8th, we'll come to you from Minneapolis when the PLL on ESPN returns. For Paul Carcaterra, Dana Boyle, our terrific crew behind the scenes, I'm Jay Alger saying so long from Columbus. Thanks for watching the PLL on ESPN.